Register Simco Identity. Okay, we are back with episode seven. I think this is episode seven, which I think might be the last episode. And if it's not, it might be the second to last episode of the Clan Wolf campaign of Tech Warrior 2. 31st century combat. So I am a Nova Colonel, and I am currently at the mission entitled Velvet Hammer. Let's see what that's all about. Okay. Josel Fetladral, aide de camp, is attending an opera in Broken Hope Morgas, despite the fact. Morgis? Morgis? I can't remember what I ended up calling it last time. I guess we'll find out when we go on the mission. Despite the fact that the enemy has pushed back across the Po River, retaking the suburbs. Not only is Fat Lidral confident that the new line will hold, but he is also confident that his escort, you, will be able to dispatch any interlopers within the city. Also, Fat Lidral loves the opera, so according to Velvet Hammer, on Morges were dense urban and it is night. He will rendezvous with the hover limousine carrying aide de camp at carrying the aide de camp, ADC, if you will, at the HQ bunker, Nav Shai Z. Escort the vehicle along the predefined route through the city. Rendezvous, escort, destroy enemy units. Turn. All right, situation. Con Felonward glanced down at the map displayed in, on his Nova's secondary monitor. According to the map, he and the Fourth Wolf guards were practically on top of the Jade Falcons, though he could see nothing through the raging blizzard outside. Chill, 70 kilometer per hour winds buffeted his neck and tossed clouds of snow and ice into the frigid air. Felon took some comfort in the knowledge that the Falcons would find it just as hard to spot the wolf mechs. All units begin magnetic resonance scanning, Felon ordered his troops. And remember, we can make the cold work for us. At these temperatures, you can run hotter than normal. So when you see the enemy, keep shooting. Suddenly, Felon's MRI scanners registered a vaguely humanoid shape ahead. His targeting computer identified the object as a hellhound. Felon lined up the crosshairs on it and fired, vaporizing the armor covering the Falcon mech's left torso. He grinned as he prepared to fire again. With a little luck, the Jade Falcon's stockpile of munitions and spare parts would soon. Alright, so the situation is, after their defeat at Ice Grief Pass, the Jade Falcons fought all the harder against their wolf clan enemies. After several long days of conflict, the concerted effort of the fourth Falcon Velites, Ve 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 Velites, 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 <laughs> the 89th Striker Cluster, and the Peregrine Eerie Cluster drove the Wolf's 279th and 16th Battle Clusters from their positions at Carson Rift. Intent on obliterating the Wolf forces, the Falcons had configured their mechs to use ballistic instead of energy weapons for maximum destructive effect. This decision gave the Wolf forces one chance to turn the tables. The beleaguered wolf mechs slowly pulled back through the raging blizzard to their second line defensive positions. As they did so, they forced the falcons to expend as much ammunition as possible so that they would have to resupply from their landing base at Broken Hope. When the Kelhounds intercepted Star Colonel Angeline Matlov's order to form a resupply convoy between Broken Hope and Carson Rift, Khan Felon and his fourth wolf guards swung into action. They raced to take Broken Hope and cut off the falcons' resupply line, thereby leaving the Falcon units easy targets for the rest of the Wolf Clan forces. Only a single garrison cluster from the Peregrine Galaxy stood in there. All right, so, want an escort, what do we got? Marauder. Ooh, a Marauder. Oh, shoot, we can go right to 100 tons on this one. Let's see, we got a Marauder. Warhawk. We got a Warhawk. Four PPCs. Direwolf. And a Direwolf. Well, let's try with the Marauder. Three PPCs, that's these guys. Two medium pulse lasers, four small. Let's do it. I like the Marauder. Probably not a good... I don't know. Let's see. Morshans. Morshans. Temperature 45.03 degrees. Local time is 19.34.01 GFT. All systems nominal. Group fire engaged. Autopilot engaged. Autopilot disabled. Finally, cover them up. There we are. Not the fastest mech in the world, so. I like the sort of 
backward leg mechs. I think they look cool. That's why I think I like the vulture and the timber wolf. Enemy power up detected. Nav fly reached. Where's the hover limo? Something's up here. Warning, warning. Hover limousine has deviated from predefined path. Hmm. Be nice if I could actually like intercept this hover limousine. Enemy power up. Meh. Why am I so far away? What is going on? I think I'm gonna be trying this again. I think I need a faster mech. Jeez. I went the wrong way to start this. Another Marauder. Close to my hover limo. This is very challenging. Hover limo's gonna get destroyed. I don't even think I fit through this hole. I guess we'll find out. Not just. Oh man. Holy crap. Damn it. Dun, 
My damage is not my yellow legs on a barrage. Okay. Now die reached. Like there's no way you would be able to complete this mission without knowing where to go. Unless I mean the only other option is to take a faster mech than this. Detected. Enemy power up. Detected. I'd still love to know what they're doing. Or we're just shooting the walls. seem like he's doing anything, so I'm just gonna ignore him for now. Oh. And I'm gonna ram into the hover level and blow it up. Good, it's the right direction. I don't know, come on, don't start jerking me around like on a merry chase here. No, 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 you can't do this to me. Nice thing about the PPCs is I shut them down. So I think what I'll do is I'll just keep running through to stay ahead of the hover limo, hopefully. Enemy power up detected. Enemy power up detected. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Enemy power up detected. Enemy power up detected. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Level critical. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Shutdown sequence initiated. Enemy vehicle Destroy. 
Okay, is that it? Are you where you need to be? Primary oh. Escort, hover limousine. Successful. Hover limousine has entered Morton Opera Plex. Proceed <laughs> to make hangar for shutdown. Nav pie. You know what? Let's let's go do our secondary now. Now I can blow you up. You guys have caused me a ridiculous amount. Let's see. Oh, I got tons of time. find them. Okay, nap and pie. So I am going in generally in the right direction. There. Oh, this is where those dudes came out of. I just want to blow up the bad guys. Satellite link established. Okay, so I gotta go around. Satellite link is damned handy, I must say. Okay, here we are. You're a bit more of a threat. Because you're mobile. I will. Oh, no. Here, here, so. One shot should do it. Enemy mix destroyed. I'm sure there's some really good, like, story reason why they blew up those buildings, but it didn't really come across, I must say. Satellite link is really the only way to get around in, uh, you know, in urban settings, I think. Because otherwise you're just lost. And if I was smart, I actually would have used it during the, uh, during the rest of the mission. But I don't think things through. Because I'm sort of a dork. Well, that took a couple tries, but we did it. I do like a Marauder. A Dakon Josel Fetledrol has entered the Morton Operaplex safely. The enemy attack was thwarted. Well done, Mech Warrior. We have retained control of the city. So I did everything. And yeah, the Keshik is content in the knowledge that the Aide Dakon is safe. Aftermath, the wolf assault on Broken Hope caught the Jade Falcon defenders by surprise. Although they fought well, the second line Falcon garrison troops proved no match for the wolf attackers. As soon as the garrison commander realized this, he called Star Colonel Matlov for reinforcements. Star Colonel dispatched the Falcon Velites and the 4th Striker Cluster to relieve the garrison, then relieve the garrison, then ordered the rest of her troops to pull back from their current positions at Carson Rift and regroup at the Bay of Broken Hope, six kilometers away from the supply depot. Whew, that was a long 
Realizing that her forces would soon be outgunned, Angeline Matlove had chosen to make her last stand on the shore of the icy bay. Matlove knew the wolves might drive the falcons from morges, morges, but she was determined to make them pay a very high price for any victory. Okay. Next. Golden Spade. Little remains in the way of resistance from a falcon. The battle for, of broken hope is over and we are busy hunting down the stragglers. However, the enemy's will is by no means broken. It appears they are willing to fight to the death. We expect nothing less. The enemy is suspected of using the Held Shrine Palace Complex uh, north of Broken Hope Morges as cover for a comm station and staging area for Falcon reinforcements traveling south to the bay. Around the Palace Complex, there is a force shield that will be rendered inoperative by friendly Calhoun fighters. Codename Golden Spade, Planet Morges, Terrain, Sparse Urban, Time, Night. Follow the nav sequence, destroy the roadblock at Nav Omega, find the Palace Complex, inspect it to confirm its contents, and then level it if the enemy is using it. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Excerpt from the diary of Pilot Victor Clan Wolf. I am not particularly proud of what happened at Broken Hope on that cold morning. I do not think that any of our pilots, mech warriors, or commanders are proud either, and none of us expressed any happiness at our victory, for the deaths of warriors is never a cause for celebration. Certainly, we were, we were relieved that the threat to Clan Wolf had been eliminated... Uh, but none of the usual high spirits that usually accompany a victory were present that day. Instead, a sense of weariness, a sense of loss, seemed to hang over our victory. The outcome of the battle was far from certain as our forces gathered among the rolling, windswept hills 20 kilometers east of the Bay of Broken Hope. I Ice and snow laid undisturbed on the mammoth green hulls of the Jade Falcon dropships, and Khan Felon must have realized that the battered force had no intention of withdrawing he must have realized that the Falcons were determined that the fate of the Wolf Clan would be decided in the frozen, forgotten wastelands and marches. I believe that is why he gave the order. Situation. Ten days of fighting in the frozen wastes of Australarctica had taken a heavy toll on both the Jade Falcons and the Wolves. Two galaxies of Falcons had dropped onto the planet, five frontline clusters and four garrison clusters. Now only three frontline clusters and two of the Falcons' garrison clusters remained operational. Additionally, severe ammunition shortages had reduced the effectiveness of all Falcon combat units and left two of the Falcon clusters operating at half their cap capability. But the fighting had significantly weakened the wolf forces also. Six stars of mechs had been destroyed or rendered inoperational, and three elemental points had perished as well. The Kelhounds had lost five battle mech lances. Despite their losses, both sides remained fully capable of destroying one another, and neither side could afford to pull out of the battle. Falcon forces represented that clan's only intact units remaining, and the Jade Falcon's only hope for destroying the wolves on the battlefield. For the wolves, the stakes were even higher. Confelon's forces carried the genetic legacy of the wolf clan, and so a defeat could spell per the permanent end of the clan. Both commanders realized that the fighting would leave one of the forces destroyed, and quite possibly both. For a brief period, an uneasy calm fell over the battlefield, as if both commanders were reluctant to resume the battle. Then the roar of aerospace fighters broke. The stillness. All right, let's see what we got in the mech lab. Warhawk. Warhawk, 90 ton max. So we can go up. Nope. Warhawk's Warhawk. as high as we can go. So we got four PPCs, two LRM-10s, and two small lasers. That seems as good as any for a strike.
Oh. Oh my god. Wow, this isn't going super well, is it? Oh, I'm not moving, that's why. You guys blew my arms off. I'm gonna die soon, but whatever. Gyro, critical hit engine. Enemy mech destroyed. Oh god. Let's try that one Ejected. more time. That was. I'm too. Blowed up. Mission failed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, what I had to go and read about because I totally forgot about was this. So, change mech. Let's get back to my Warhawk. Warhawk. And fix C. And then we can add a star mate and another star mate. And another Warhawk. Maximum tonnage per Mac. Okay, you know what? Let's uh let's see how this goes now with some uh with some wingmen. Okay, that's fine. Anyways, I might uh, get it in the hang of things here. Starting off a little better. Primary objective destroy roadblock and turret. Successful. All points attacking your target. Incoming message. Command report strike against shield generator has failed. Generator is active and must be destroyed. Group fire engaged. You guys are not smart. Incoming message. Command report strike against shield generator at base. Generator is active and must be destroyed. Critical hit. 
Critical hit. Weapon destroyed. Last time. That's so sorry. Okay. Chain fire engaged. Group fire engaged. Enemy power up detected. All points attacking your target. Going slow. Point two. 
2, reports target destroyed. Point 3, reports target destroyed. All points attacking your target. <laughs> there is no friggin' way. Oops. There is no friggin' way I'm gonna do that again. Or I'm gonna, like, worry about targets of opportunity. Holy crap, that mission also took a lot of tries. I believe this is the last sort of, uh, story mission. And it was hard! Even... So... <laughs> It's actually, it took me to the last story mission of the game, so the next mission is just a uh, trial of position. But uh, it took me till this last mission to realize there was another little button on the mech lab that allows you to configure your star and allows you to add some wingmen. So that was nice. I actually had to watch a YouTube video because <laughs> I'm dumb and I don't read the manual and I don't remember that from forever ago. And I originally played this. I don't even think I ever touched that when I originally played the game. Because this mission was basically impossible <laughs> without, uh, without the frickin' star mates on this mission. Like, there's just too many bad guys. Nav oh. reached mission successful. Mission successful. You! Palace comp station is in ruins. You have performed excellently. All those things are done. The Kashyyyk has taken note of your honorable victory. Aftermath. As the mech warriors of Clan Wolf watched from their protected positions in the hills, Wolf aerospace fighters swarmed through the frigid air. Using missiles, lasers, and PPCs, the fighters unleashed a hellish rain of death down onto the forces. Flight after flight of Falcon aerospace fighters scrambled from their dropships to defend the Falcon mechs, but almost immediately they ran into waves of Kellhound fighters. Within minutes, a tangled mass of fighters filled the skies over Broken Hope, twisting and turning amid the angry stabbing beams of PPCs and lasers and the burning dots of lasers. As the Falcon fighters tried in vain to destroy the mercenary fighters, the Wolf aerospace wings continued their strafing runs, streaking over the Falcon command, disappearing into the jagged hills, then returning to inflict further damage on their targets soon. Large clouds of steam, smoke, flame, and shrapnel filled the air, creating a black fog obscured the falcon positions 
Open comlink channels crackled with terse commands of aerospace pilots and cries of wounded and dying mech warriors. When the last Falcon aerospace fighter fell from the sky, the wolf fighters ceased their onslaught and Con Felon led the mechs of the wolves and killhounds toward the Falcon positions. There, they found a scene of overwhelming devastation. Twisted forms of blackened mechs littered the ground. Small fires seemed to burn everywhere, attracting small groups of Falcon mech warriors huddling again. It was ended. Jade Falcons, who had come to Morgas to destroy the wolves, had themselves. Bloodied Wolf, warden to the last, finally found the road home. A brutal campaign called the Refusal War. It was over. Okay, the Refusal War has ended. We have cut the Falcon to the bone. The wound may never heal. The war has cost us dearly, however. We, the Warden Wolf, can never go back to the old ways. Our destiny rests with these so-called barbarians of the Inner Sphere. They are our wards. It is they. They we must protect, should the Falcon fly again. Nova Colonel, this is a call to trial. It is with the deepest sorrow and reverence that we report the Noble Khan dead. Your numerous... Honorable actions in the field have placed you amongst the most skilled and excellent of all mech warriors, all wolf mech warriors. The Kashyyyk has decided to grant you a trial physician for the rank of Khan. You will fight against the best of the clan. You will kill or be killed. Decision by trial. Let combat. The judge. Okay, let's see if I can uh, make it to Khan. Trial Kong. initiated. Wolf clan protocol. All systems nominal. Fire engaged.
thought was going to happen. Let's go, let's go. Okay, so I could try and go for the con thing, but that's Remax and a damage mech. And you know what? I am, I am satisfied with my performance. And there's no way I'm going to take on, you know, that guy and two Marauders in one Timberwolf. Successful. Galaxy Commander it is. Thanks very much. <laughs> okay, everybody. You have deploy displayed skill sufficient to acquire the rank of Galaxy Commander. The Kashyyyk is pleased. You are bound by honor to uphold the responsibility of your new post. Whatever the cost, only death shall stay you. End of the refusal war. Marks the last of your chances to advance in rank. Only the Khan can dictate the plans of the Earth. Should the Falcon rise again, serve him well. Unfortunately, yes, I did not. On, fine by me. Embrace your new allies of the inner sphere. Watch them. Learn from them. They are not barbarians, after all. They are men like us and like all men. They're worthy of respect. Okay, everyone. So that is pretty much the um, the clan wolf campaign of Mech Warrior Two. I hope uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I guess I unfortunately didn't quite make it to Con, which I believe the only major difference is that it changes this. Uh, this paragraph so here we are closing this verse has ended cinematic our destiny is sealed to a once unthinkable fate we have found new allies in an ancient foe and enemies in our siblings the honor of the warden way like a pyre in the blackness of space has guided us to our home on Terra. Yay! Kerensky foretold us of this Eden with a promise of deliverance. We will defend it to our deaths. Let the next verse begin. The next verse of the remembrance. Okay, so that is it. That is the, the Clan Wolf campaign of Mech Warrior 2. Uh, I don't know if I'll go on. Uh, I, I may do the Falcon campaign at a later date i think i want to move on to to some other stuff but wow that was uh that was a lot of fun this game is just as great as as i remember it being so yeah i hope uh hope you guys enjoyed this little uh this little series and uh we will see you next week with uh with something else awesome well, thanks again everybody and uh as usual when i end these series uh you know if if you do like these things then please go check out uh the podcast at umbcast.com where uh, I believe is episode 15. It's, it's linked in the uh, the video below. Uh, episode 15 is where I covered the MechWarrior series. And uh, yeah, you know, do all that stuff uh, that you do. There's a Patreon, patreon.com slash umbcast. Uh, please feel free to jump over there and uh, contribute if you like these videos and if you like the podcast as well. And that is that. And thanks very much. And this is Joe signing off for the Clan Wolf campaign of MechWarrior 2. 31st century combat. Bye-bye.